And that can't be stressed enough. Despite taking a direct hit, everyone made it through. I was in Seminole today, saw the damage firsthand. The cleanup's going to take some time, but Seminole City Manager Steve Saxon, he's lived there for more than 20 years and says the town is strong. I'm just so happy that everyone's safe. We can rebuild this, and we will very quickly. And the first steps are underway. Power crews are busy with streets covered in down power lines and debris. News 9's Angelicia Bruton is live in Seminole with how some neighbors made it through. Nearly every house I've seen here in Seminole has some sort of damage to it. The roof of this house is just a few feet away from the ground. If I wanted to make it to the front door, I would have to duck. And just like many others, the family that actually lives here rode out the storm. It was loud. The house was just shaking like crazy. I have a small inner hallway and uh, no windows or doors on that one. So that's where I stayed, me and my kitties. <laughs> Fortunately, no one was hurt, but Kendall Putman says he knows of several people who got stuck taking shelter. Ran into the bathroom and, and then some emergency vehicles come in, help dig them out. Putman says this house is his rental property and he did not have insurance. Either way, it's either a loss of rent and just tear it down or or a big expense getting it fixed back up to rent. So. Insulation is stuck in the fence and Putman tells me the only part of the roof that is still intact is where the renters took shelter. There's one piece of roof left. The other part, some of that over here is the roof. There's some more over in the neighbor's yard and I don't know where all the rest of it went. Cleanup is underway. For many homeowners, uprooted trees are their biggest issue. The street was full of tree debris. So I got out there and cleaned the tree debris out of the street. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Uh, this is the first time Simmel's ever been hit this bad. It's just me and my three boys. It's livable. We just don't have no power. Crews have been out all day restoring power. Neighbors tell me that they're thankful for their hard work and for making it through the storm. Live in Seminole, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.